Good morning, everyone. This is Mac with Dream Life Travels, and today I am in a different city. We took a trip over to CDMX, Mexico City, and I found out about this Bici Ruta Sunday mornings. Same as in Merida, so we rented bikes and we are along the path, and I would love to share it with you. It is an amazing experience if you ever come to Mexico City, so enjoy what you're about to see. The Bici Ruta runs along Reforma, which also connects with Chapultepec Park, and that is where we are starting our venture today. Up to the right will be the Anthropological Museum, museums to the left, right, and look how crowded it is. This is amazing. And one other quick thing before we get too far into it, they have bikes for rent for about $6 a day, and that is what we did. You can see them right here. They're located all over the city. You can park them in one place, drop them off at another. So super helpful to allow you to see the whole city and stay active. And the weather here is amazing. So I highly recommend. We have the Museo Nacional de Antropología or Anthropological Museum. Checked out yesterday, it is super cool. Also recommend that. And look, you can park your bikes here, drop them off, all good. To our left is the National Auditorium, which also has its own metro stop. We'll get a better view of it when we come back. Okay, so the end of this Bici Ruta on the Chapultepec side is right at the Simon Bolivar Monument. And across the street is Campo Marte, where I think they hold concerts and stuff like that. There's a little better picture of the National Auditorium. But this tree-lined street is what it's all about. probably can't see it very well but to our right is Lago Mayor or the greater lake in Chapultepec and you can rent paddle boats out there super fun mm -hmm. this street is just lined with museums there's the Museum of Modern Art and we're almost out of Bosque de Chapultepec and back into the big city These guys are helping us out, helping people pass. Gotta listen to them. Coming back into the city area, beautiful shot. And it's kind of fun, you get a bunch of different music as you bike along, because everyone brings their little boom boxes. Or if you really like someone's music, you can just bike faster with them. Hey, Hannah's here. Ooh, some fun side activities. I'm not sure if it costs money, but if your bike breaks down, you got help. All right, there's a 45 minute limit on these Eco BCs. Okay, I feel like this is turning into a commercial for Eco BC because we dropped off our bike a few blocks back, just walked along the Pre-lined Reforma, it was amazing, and now we're picking some more up. So Bici Ruta definitely comes all the way out to Insurgentes, another major street here in Mexico City. This is a major intersection. Well, let's continue. Hop off and get some artisanal stuff. And when we get into the city, they really make you stop. Very safe. So the Bici Ruta keeps going. We just came from that way. Now we're gonna take a quick veer to the right towards Centro Historico and Palacio Bellas Artes, all that fun stuff. Let's check it out. And this beautiful park connected to Bellas Artes. We're gonna park the bikes and go check it out. And the BC Ruta takes you all over the city. You can just hop off the bikes or just veer off and you get all these cool experiences. I'm looking for sunglasses because you may have noticed me squinting a lot. Jackpot. <laughs> So we just stopped and got breakfast, and then we walked right back, hopped on the bikes again, and we are continuing along Bici Ruta. We're gonna go to the other end, see wherever it is. I hope it's at the Zocalo, because that would be Centro Historico. Oh look, Benito Juarez. 
Oh, and we definitely start entering some of the older neighborhood. We passed Chinatown. And we come upon El Palacio de Bellas Artes. And is the BC Ruta over? Let's find out. Oh, this is a totally different neighborhood, very cool. We are definitely in Centro. Beautiful. Okay, not sure if it's because it's 11.40 and it's getting hotter and we're off of Reforma, but this is much less occupied part of Isiruta when you head into Centro Historico. It's still really fun that we're enjoying it. Ooh, another turn. And we are getting close to the end. I see the sign. Look at these buildings though. Yay, we made it! Wow. And this is the other end. Okay, I know it's not part of Bisiruta, but you can keep going. Sure, there are cones, but they're not gonna stop ya. All right, guys. We made it to Centro. That is the other end of Bisiruta. It was so much fun. We stopped, we got breakfast, so many places you can do it yourself. And there are places to park your bikes all along the route. There's one block from here that way, another one block that way. So we're gonna go find one and enjoy Centro. Y'all can do the same. If you guys have any more questions about Mexico City or about travel in Mexico in general, holla at us, Dream Life Travels. This is Mac. There's Hannah saying, Hasta luego. <laughs> Hasta luego.